show you how to put uh, a list of data into some sort of order and then work out the percentages above or below that each point on the data set represents. So here we've got graduates and their starting salaries. This is not in any order. You can see that it's all jumbled up here, three, four, five, da, 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 da. And so graduate here, this column is not a ranking. It just indicates the ID, for example, the name or whatever of the graduate. So this is nominal data. This is nominal data. And we want to get it into some sort of ordered data, ordered. So go to data data analysis and then we want to get rank and percentile go OK now the data that we want is all of it put in the whole lot including the column labels is that correct yes we've got labels in the first row so check that box I'm going to put it onto a new worksheet so it doesn't uh, get all cluttered up and then go OK and here you can see my uh, data set is here. Just trying to get it a little larger for you. OK, so now you can see here that it's ranked them into an order. So the starting salary is here, the starting salary is here, and then we've got a rank and a percentage. This point, first of all, this point here, 10, 8, da, 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 refers to the ID number on the original data. So let's concentrate on here, starting salary 3925. So that was the person with the largest salary. So he is ranked or she is ranked first and then down the side here. And you can see here there's a percentage. So that means that uh, if we include that, everybody, 100% of the graduates got 3925 or less. Now this person here with a salary of 3730 got 3730 is ranked second. So 90.9% got 3730 or less. And here's the poorest paid person at the bottom, ranked 12th. So that person, salary, nobody got less than that. That's exactly what you'd expect. So from this, we can work out percentages more or less and so around here let's say 3520 about half of the people got between 3520 and 3490. Let's put this into um, a histogram and then we can see this distribution. It's good practice also to use the pivot table. <clears throat> so I'm going to highlight that column, go back to insert and then pivot table. Now we only want this column, so I want F1 to F13. That's exactly what I've got, so that's all right. I'm going to use a new worksheet. Go OK. Now here is the worksheet. So we want to put starting salary down in row labels. We also need it to be in values. Now notice here we do not want we do not want to have it as sum. <clears throat> Can you see here on the corner this is important? We don't want sum, we want count. So click on that little corner thing, value field settings, and change it to count. Okay, and put that in the middle. So here's the data already. It's just summing it up here. So far it's sum of data. And you can see it's just adding it up. It's not of interest here. It's just the same number, but it'll change. When we go to count, it's counted how many people got 3310. 
In fact, it's very boring, isn't it? It's all the same because we've had very few observations. It only happens that two people got 3480. Oh. So let's change this. Let's group it. Right click there. Go to group. And uh, Excel is recommending by 100. OK, so let's do what Excel says just for fun. OK. So we go there, and now it's started to group it. And by eye, you should be able to see there's going to be a pattern, isn't there? On the left, there's more. See? Most people are in the range now. We've got a range of 3410 to 3509. That's $100. Let's make that into a histogram. So highlight the area, insert, column, then the first one. Now that's not a histogram because the classes are not adjacent to each other. This is a gap. So go back up to here on that little corner thing. Click on that. And now we want here. It looks like a histogram, doesn't it? That's layout number eight. And here we can see the. Um, it's exactly what we want. So I'm going to, you know, you can tidy it up. You can put starting salary as the title of it or cut and click it etc so here we could link that with the uh, percentages and see okay from this one we know that the percentage of numbers of people who have this one etc so this is a very useful tool this is the rank and percentile tool thank you